in Bridgewater, the the school district, they we didn't have a lot of the uprising that some of the towns did about the, the sex ed standards. Mm-hmm. And the school district in, you know, put them in place, um, give parents an opt out option, and that's it. But I'll tell you, this year we had seven people running for school board. One of them, a unabashedly Republican candidate, ran out of column six out of seven candidates. And it's, you know, not to get into all the election politics, but as you know, it's very hard. It can be very hard to win if you're all the way buried in number six out of seven candidates. She had not a ton of money, but she ran opposing the sex ed standards and in favor of parents, and she won. Good for um, her. Good and for she her. won over the other candidates who were just kind of being vanilla, not a whole lot of substance to them. Um, and I think that's what you're going to see. And I think you're going to see that more and more in municipalities that understand that nothing impacts their students and their families and their kids more than school board elections.